Marvel Studios has officially updated the MCU timeline on Disney+. Plus. And the more people look at it, the more people are confused. Because, um, is anybody ever going to mention the Eternals? No? Okay. So just recently, we had one of the producers and the director of She-Hulk state that the project takes place relatively very close to the ending of Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. So we all figured, okay, it's probably before Eternals, right? That makes sense, because Eternals is a little bit of time after. Not so fast, because Disney has officially updated the timeline, and um, things get a little confusing. So we're going to start at Spider-Man Far From Home. So, you have Spider-Man Far From Home, which then goes to Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings, then Eternals. After Eternals is Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. After that is Hawkeye. After Hawkeye is Moon Knight. And then after Moon Knight is She-Hulk, followed by Miss Marvel. So, now we have multiple things, because Disney's still not altering a timeline and saying that Eternals is the furthest in the timeline that are sort of just sitting here, but nobody's ever mentioning anything that happened in the ocean that's probably messed up the entire flow of the Earth. So, um, one, magma, but two, uh, I, I don't know, disrupted the mantle, shifting of the plates, any of that, it doesn't matter. I guess we'll get to that whenever we get to more Eternals. But naturally, people are kind of confused at this timeline because um, She-Hulk being so far removed from anything here and very close to Miss Marvel... I mean, it does raise a lot of questions, right? A lot of questions, because, again, we know that this is going to be dealing with a lot of things going on in the MCU. And, yeah, it makes sense that it takes place after Shang-Chi, because we saw Bruce and everything with the arm and all that. But, again, it just kind of brings into question when exactly this series is set place in terms of seasons and all that. Because if you pay attention, we know that Miss Marvel takes place around March of its respective year. So this has got to be somewhere before that, but clearly after Christmas because of Hawkeye. So places it somewhere in late winter, early spring. But then Moon Knight events and everything are kind of weird. And Doctor Strange doesn't necessarily line up with any of this. Because Doctor Strange would have to be after Spider-Man no Way Home, which takes place after Hawkeye. Yeah, this is confusing. Um, somebody, somebody fix this. Marvel, just listen to the fans, please. Just, just listen to the fans. We seem to just be able to point out a little more um, consistent flow than whoever's over there placing these things. <laughs> 